Today's our last day of this fun adventure. <laughs> Today we will be driving out to UC Merced campus. Prior to moving on campus, I was pretty worried about um, who my roommates would be. I wasn't sure if we would get along, but now that it's pretty near the semester, me and my roommates are pretty good friends. We help each other out with maybe assignments. I was scared about uh, space. I didn't know if I was gonna have my own like boundaries. I didn't know if uh, the DC, the dining commons, was gonna have good food. Uh, I was also scared of making friends. I didn't know how all that was gonna happen, but in the end, it all worked out. Um, me and my roommates got really close together. Um, I, the food is great, and I made a bunch of new friends just living in these close-knit communities. Whenever I have time in between classes, I can either come back to my dorm, um, get my, like, my books for the next class, or I can take a nap. I don't have to go off campus drive. Or I can either um, go to the DC, grab a snack, and it's just so convenient. Um, I lived in Mariposa my first year, and it was honestly great. I got to meet a whole lot of incoming students who, you know, were in the same boat as I was, you know, trying to survive their first year. And I gained a lot of friends that way. Uh, my roommate was great. I didn't need to worry about transportation or food since living on campus. Living on campus already provided me with those opportunities. So all I need to worry about is just studying for my classes. I think academically it helped me because there's a lot of resources like when you live on different halls. My freshman year I was in the academic excellence hall and so they had a lot of resources to keep your grades up if tutoring and just small groups where you could connect to other people who had your classes. I live in Tanaya and uh, living with two other people is not that bad and I'm not usually in my room as much anyways. Like I said, like I like going to the study rooms or you know the library to study. I like living on campus because uh, my friends are right next to the hall and it's really convenient. Uh, I really don't have to drive anywhere and it's a really nice networking community that everyone can just hop in and connect with any other residents here on campus. Stay on campus, it's so convenient. You don't have to cook meals. Um, you have study lounges here. You have, um, yeah, your living room if you live in a suite, you have lounges um, in your halls. Um, you don't have to drive forever for, to go to class. You can actually wake up um, like, I don't know, 15 minutes before your class and you'll still make it on time. And it's just very convenient. Yeah, stay on campus. And have a walking tour. Then drive to Fresno State. Hey everyone, I'm Coral and welcome to Campus Explorer. Today we're going to talk about California State University Fresno, often referred to as Fresno State, which is one of 23 universities in the public Cal State system. Fresno is located in the heart of California's Central Valley, about halfway between Los Angeles and San Francisco. Fresno State's Department of Arts and Sciences includes programs in music, communications, linguistics, journalism, theater arts, Armenian studies, and more. Its Health and Human Services Department provides training in such in-demand careers as nursing and physical therapy. The school may be best known for its Craig School of Business, which is regarded as one of the best business schools in the Western United States. Over 22,000 students attend Fresno State, but the student-to-faculty ratio is relatively low at 20 to 1, and most classes have fewer than 50 students. About 55% of applicants are accepted to Fresno State. Incoming freshmen have an average GPA of 3.3 and SAT scores between 1220 and 1580. Tuition and fees at Fresno State total about $5,400 for in-state students, and those who choose to live on campus pay an additional $10,000 or so for room and board. About 75% of students receive financial aid and the average award amount is over $11,000. Only 6% of Fresno State students live on campus and about 8% of men and 5% of women participate in Greek life. The school's baseball, basketball, track and football teams participate in the Mountain West Conference and numerous student clubs and organizations offer other ways to get involved on campus as well. 
Students say, the clubs and organizations stand out on campus and the athletics here are also very intense and competitive. For additional information on Fresno State and more than 8,000 other U.S. colleges, go to www.campusexplorer.com. Then again, it's lunch. We will be eating in Subway. Then we will be driving up to Bakersfield and have dinner there in a secret place. Don't tell everyone. Don't tell nobody.